All right, let's create the material that's going to go on our fluid surface. So back here in the content browser, right here next to our texture render target cube, I'm going to right click and create a new material. And let's name this M underscore water puddle. And let's drop the casing on the U. Now, as soon as this comes in, I'm going to go ahead and select our water reflection texture that we created and then close out the content browser. Select your material node and we will set the blend mode over to translucent because we want this to be clear water so we can see the floor just down beneath. Now we're going to add a texture sample from that uh, texture cube that we put together. So hold down the T key and left click. And we're going to multiply this by 1.5. So I'm going to bring in a constant by holding down the one key and left clicking. And we'll set this to 1.5. And then we're going to multiply those together. So hold down the M key, M for multiply. And we'll just take the texture sample, multiply that by 1.5, and we will plug the result into the diffuse. Now, at this point, you're going to get an error. Don't worry about that just yet. We're going to fix it. Let's move all this stuff up for just a moment. Now, we're going to bring in a reflection vector. So right-click, come down to vectors, and grab a reflection vector. And then we're going to run that through a component mask. So come down underneath utility and you'll see component mask. Set your component mask to R, G, and B. Connect in your reflection vector. And then we're going to plug this into the UVs of the texture sample, which will make our error go away. And so now we can see the reflection of our level. Pretty cool so far. Now, let's move all this stuff up slightly. Make a little bit of room. I'm going to create a brand new constant, so hold down the 1 key and left click. We're going to set this to 0.75 and then feed that into opacity to make this just a little bit clear so we can kind of see through it. Now, we're going to add a fluid normal. Now, what this does, this is going to allow us to apply the normal of our fluid surface to kind of ripple the result of our texture. Now, you can combine this with an actual normal map using some of the techniques we talked about in the material lessons, if you so desire, but we're going to leave this example fairly simple. So let's right click, go underneath texture, and there is a fluid normal. Now, let's grab this and just plug it straight into our normal. We're also going to use this as a way to help us handle distortion, but we really need to crank up the overall value so we can do that. So I'm going to bring in a brand new constant. So again, hold down the one key and left click. We'll set this to 50, so pretty high. Now we're going to multiply this by the fluid normal. So bring in a new multiply with the M key and left clicking. Connect up our constant and our fluid normal and we'll connect the result to our distortion. And that's just going to cause a nice distortion value as the uh, surface of our uh, fluid tends to ripple. All right, now we're going to do a couple of other things. If we come back over to the properties of the material itself, scroll down to translucency, and we're gonna set up one layer distortion, which is kind of something that's specific to setting up fluids. Now we need to apply this to our fluid surface actor. So we're done here. Let's go ahead and apply our changes. We'll close out of the material editor. Let's open up the content browser. And I'm going to grab my package and make sure that gets saved. Let's select our fluid surface actor. I'll double click it to open up its properties. And then we're going to jump down underneath fluid component. And then down here underneath fluid surface component, you'll see the fluid material. Go ahead and select M water puddle and click your use selected object in content browser. Give that a second to calculate. And now if we take a look, we now have a fluid surface. As a matter of fact, we should be able to jump in at this point and test, though our result is going to be a little bit on the extreme side. However, go ahead and save your, your work so far. Go to save your package, save your level, and then when we come back, we're going to take a look at editing the properties of this fluid to get a more realistic result.